Hey there, artist. So we are going to be working on a picture that's inspired by the artist Vincent Van Gogh and his artwork that is called Starry Night. So we're going to be making this with oil pastels and watercolor paint and salt. Okay, guys. So hopefully I'll have a picture of Starry Night available for you to look at. I'm going to set this one aside. And the first thing we do is always the same. We write down our name. So once you have your name on Z-Back, it's time to flip it over. To start our artwork, when you are making a la 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 landscape, it is always a good idea to put the horizon line first. The horizon line is the line that separates the sky from the ground. All right, that's a landscape. There's my sky, there's my ground, but it is super boring. So I'm going to jazz it up. Well, first things first, it's called Starry Night. So I should probably fill it with stars. So I'm gonna use a darker yellow, but you can use any yellow. This one, I use the lightest yellow. I'm using the darkest one so you can see it really well. Okay, guys, so stars. There are many ways you can make stars. You could just make dots all over your paper, not little dots. I mean, go make a nice dark dot. And Vincent Van Gogh's work is famous for looking like it's moving. So I'm gonna put some dash lines going around my stars. Dash, 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 dash. Now there's other kinds of stars you could do too. Another kind would be the X with a T on top. It's also how I draw my snowflakes. An X with a T on top. And again, make your dash lines going around it. It could even be with a different yellow, for instance. Dash, 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 dash. Now the fanciest kind of star. And again, you don't have to do this kind, dots are fine. But there is the five pointed star when you make an arrow up. And then you can make a big cross line, like a, a capital A with the lines going longer. Connect one, connect the other. Okay. Now for some of you, you might've already practiced those and I'm not gonna spend time working on that right now, but I'll just do another one real fast. And there's other ways to do that. An arrow up, a capital A, and connect the diagonal lines. Okay, guys. So, I also recommend you put a moon. So, a moon is like a C shape, and then make it thicker, a thick C shape. Color it in, and put your dash lines, making it look like it's energetic. Okay. You can even use dash lines in the for like wind. So I'm gonna get some blue colors and I'm gonna make some swir swirly whirlies instead of dash lines. Swirly whirlies, not sloppy. You can change, do multiple different blues. Swirl whirlies to make it look like the wind is moving. That is famous for Vincent Van Gogh. Okay, I'm going to jump down to my la 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 landscape. If you want to put those wobbly trees like Vincent Van Gogh has, then you're going to take a, I'm going to draw right on top of this because I haven't blended in. I'm going to make a wobbly line down and another wobbly line down. They meet in a point and then I can color it in. It almost looks like buildings. I used to think it was like weird buildings, but it's wobbly trees. I'm gonna use a different green just to make it more interesting for another one. Wobbly line down, wobbly line down. And I'm drawing right over my sky and it's going right over it because I'm coloring nice and dark. There's other things that you can add too. You could add a building in the background. This one I added a building. I'm gonna add some far away hills because in the real Starry Night, 
I notice there are far away heels and they're colored blue. And I'm gonna color it in. I'm gonna paint the sky blue, but I'm gonna color the ground blue. I can color again buildings, I can color castles, I can make an animal, flowers, whatever. And I'm gonna go ahead once again, and I'm gonna start coloring my ground. Artist trick. I like to use multiple greens when I color grounds. I'm gonna start with the darkest, and then I'm gonna go down and down to lighter greens. And I can blend them in, make it nice and dark. Okay, guys, I'm not really gonna finish mine, but you can all the way to the lightest green. Okay, again, I did not finish the ground because I'm too excited to paint and I know you're excited for your starry night. Okay, guys, so the la second to last thing I should say is we're gonna get just blue paint to color the sky. And you're gonna notice how the blue is going to, the paint, excuse me, is gonna be resisted off the oil pastel. This type of painting is called an oil resist. That means the oil from the oil pastels is resisting the watercolor. It does not want the paint on it. It's shoving the paint away. Okay, and the very last step, while the paint is still wet, only while the paint is still wet, is the salt trick. This might be a new trick for us. You're gonna pinch the salt. You're gonna sprinkle one sprinkle one sprinkle on your picture and you are going to see that it's going to start to make an effect when that dries it's going to look like starbursts in the background so when it dries it looks totally different but right now that needs to go on the drying rack until the next art class happy arting